G'day everyone, Connor here from CW's Tech Reviews and today we're having a look at the Galaxy Project ROM for the Galaxy S7. This ROM is hot. It's got a lot of modifications, a lot of tweaks. Let's get into it. I'm doing this off an ATG, so I'll be installing, wiping, advanced wipe, Wipe all of them, just like so, back, install, select storage, OTG, T the Galaxy Project, TGP, and swipe. Now this has got a ROM installer, so I will run you through that, I'll try and do it quickly though. Um, I love having a Roma installer and being able to choose what I want on my phone and when I want it. So, do you want the installer to perform a full wipe? Yes. Do you want to perform an EFS backup? I'll just say yes. And backup your configuration? No. Next. I want a custom install. Next. Install ROM? Yes. Install Magisk? Yes. And Magisk SU, shut down animation. Yes, I want to permanently enable unknown sources. Install recovery reboot button. Install modded camera. Sound mod, yes. Install all tweaks. Don't want any of those. Google Apps, so I want Chrome, Gmail, Maps, Movies, Music, and YouTube. Microsoft Apps, I don't want any of those. Sing, Samsung Apps, don't want music, I do want video, I want S Health, I want S Memo, that'll do me. I'm going to go. TPG kernel, next, I don't want to uh, in flash modems or bootloaders, so next, and off she goes, it's installing, it's looking good so far, setting up BusyBox, setting up Magisk, sound mod, installation complete, Reboot device, finish. There we go. So once that's booted up, I'll come back, we'll do a quick setup, or you'll see me set it up for a second or two, and then I'll give you a quick overhaul of the ROM. Okay, so here we are, everyone. We've got the Galaxy Project installed on the Galaxy S7. I'll just go into the settings, about device, software info, 7.0, The Galaxy Project and there's all the information about the Galaxy Project and how to donate to them should you feel that the ROM is worth it. A lot of work goes into ROMs like this. Now it comes pre-installed with Kernel Auditor and Magisk Manager. So Magisk is your root explorer. Um, it's properly rooted there you can see there and you can go in and also You can also go in and update your uh, your kernel and have it running how you want it running. So it's, uh, always don't forget to apply on boot, otherwise it won't work. So you can choose to have your kernel and your ROM running how you want it to, whether it's fast or slow or battery, geared towards better battery or geared towards better performance. It's, the choice is yours. Um, so go in and have a good play around with that. It also comes with um, the Edge app, Edge, People Edge, Task Edge, and you can go into the settings and choose what else you want in there. So you can go CNN News, Internet Calendar, Device Manager, Finance, Sport News, just goes on and on. Whoops, can't have 
more than nine. So I'll get rid of the finance and go weather. Go back. Task edge. There's your CNN news. Calendar. Device maintenance. Yahoo Sports. News. More news and the weather. So definitely your Galaxy S7 has just become an S7 Edge. Uh, nice and customizable. Um, and that's it. So it's very stock. Uh, when I first installed it, there was only one page of apps. And as you can see, there's hardly any Samsung apps installed. There's no Microsoft apps or anything like that. It was also quite limited on the Google apps that it came with. So a very stock ROM. Definitely this ROM is uh, optimized for better performance. It just flies. I've had no problems with it. I tweaked the kernel a bit today to go for better performance and I was out of battery by about oh, 6 p.m. It's now 7.27 p.m. So um, I gave it a quick charge, but everything else seems to be fine with it. And again, it, um, it went like that because I chose to make it run like that through the kernel auditor, not because that's the ROM itself. So definitely this ROM is one of the better ones for the Galaxy S7, very stable as stable as your software that Samsung would send you. Definitely uh, worth having a crack at if you want something stable, then have a look at the Galaxy Project. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back soon with another one. I'll catch you in that one. Check ya.